I may need to start again. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's been almost a week since I went live from Palaborwa and uh, I've had a cracking week in the park, including another great birding day here uh, where I'm coming to you from. Uh, I'm in the garden of uh, the lodge I'm staying at, Pekin uh, Nut uh, Farm Lodge, which is about 40 k's out of um, Toyandu and 20 k's out of Louis Trichard uh, on the Punda Maria Gate Road. So basically a straight shot out of um, uh, Punda Gate, um, about 110 k's in total to get here. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to jump on and give you what will be a summary, but also a preview of the content to come. So a summary of the trip that was uh, had, as well as a preview of some of the content um, that uh, is still to come over probably the next six to eight weeks. So all the way into the new year, maybe even. But uh, let's see how that goes. Um, so, um, when I last touched base, I was heading into Pelvoroa Gate, where I was going to stay at uh, Lataba uh, for one night, and uh, then move up to Shinwetsi, and then on to Punda Maria. Um, Lataba was uh, hot, but uh, uh, quite, uh, quite quiet. Uh, you know, getting into the camp, uh, except the noise levels of the cicadas was quite deafening. And then uh, we got to Shinguetsi, which was hotter, but uh, the action was uh, cracking all the way. Uh, cheetahs, um, a leopard on the bridge, um, standing on the Shinguetsi River, and then, uh, yeah, lots of birds as well, a few new ones before we even got to the birding on foot uh, weekend at uh, Punda Maria. And then we got up to Punda, um, and Punda being being what it is, where it is, uh, is just brilliant as well. Um, the birding on foot weekend was, uh, well, strenuous, <laughs> if I can describe it in one word. Um, we were walking about six, six and a half k's every morning, uh, getting up at uh, three, uh, no, ah, well, getting up at half past two to be out of camp by four. So meet for coffee at around half past three and then get on the game drive vehicles and head out and then drive out for about an hour, an hour and a half and start walking half past five, six o'clock or so. Um, first day was 40 degree heat, second day I think true feel at one stage was 41 degrees walking next to rivers that meant the humidity was up um, so yeah it was it was strenuous mornings and then got back into camp mm, breakfast at 11.30 on the first day and like 1.30 on the second day um, and then uh, afternoon drives as well um, got the pendant wing niger the aim of the weekend was to get the pendant wing niger i think and we also got quite a few new uh, birds as well and got closer to the 500 bird mark and then yeah we came through oh before i say that uh, we also were the winning uh, truck again so two in a row so uh, i think uh, there's some connection between me and the winning truck at these birding events. <laughs> uh, and then I came through to uh, Sotpans Berg yesterday evening, um, quite late, uh, got here. Traffic from Punda to um, Pekin uh, Nut Farm was um, not bad, but it was slow. Uh, 60, uh, 60 zones, 40 zones, a lot of cops. And then, uh, yeah, we went out birding with um Samson Mulawutsi uh, today and we got over the 500 mark 
we actually got 16 birds, new birds, subject to auditing, obviously. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I think absolutely brilliant day of birding, given that I've already got so many birds on the list. Um, I think there were three or four uh, special birds that uh, if I didn't have as life as are uh, on most people's life lists as well. Narina Trogon, Pygmy Goose, um, sorry, <laughs> got some acid reflux. Uh, Narina Trogon, Pygmy Goose, uh, and uh, Grey Cuckoo Shrike, which uh, were already on my list and uh, would have made for good uh, sightings for someone who's maybe got a few less, less birds. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, it, it was absolutely brilliant in, in the terms of the birding. The heat did get to me, uh, the bugs got to me, uh, bug bitten all over my legs. And then today we were um, out uh, in the uh, thick, uh, what they call Afro-Montane forest. So besides uh, thorns and scratches, because I was wearing my shorts, um, I think I also stepped in some stinging nettle which then just burns on top of everything else as well um so yeah uh you know uh, you have to go through the pain <laughs> to uh, get new birds and uh, yeah sweating sweating on on walking bird tours and in uh, afro montane forest uh, is what you do when you start getting uh, up in the numbers and have to go searching for elusive forest birds in particular but birds that then also occur in very small distributions. Uh, I think for me the highlight has to be the pendant wing niger um, but there was also so many other highlights as well. Making some good friends on, on the uh, birding tour uh, you know, you basically stuck for three days with, uh, you know, a group of uh, nine people, so, uh, well, and two guides, so, um, if you don't get along, <laughs> it's, uh, it's going to be quite tough, but I think we had a brilliant group, and, yeah, we really enjoyed um, the time in the bush when we were not seeing new birds, we were cracking jokes, so I told them, uh, my joke about the fish with no eyes that I got from dips I think um, and yeah <laughs> oh and the snowman joke as well um, so yeah we made some good memories and you're gonna have to watch out for the content the content will start dropping hopefully in the next week so the first day into Lataba I'll aim to get done by Monday next week but let's see how it goes um, so I am probably going to sign off now. There's two uh, wood owls in uh, in the uh, area uh, that I'm sitting in that come out after the sunset. So I'll probably just relax around the pool for the next uh, maybe hour and a half or so. Wait for the wood owls, get them calling to each other. And then, uh, yeah, call it a night and have an early trip back to Joburg tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, for everyone who tuned in. And we shall catch you on the next video now.